Good morning. On this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a 3D printed boom box. Uh, this is my design from the old school days. It's called the Diablo JVC RC 550. I designed this um, 25 watts of power, fully 3D printed. I do have patent pending on this product um, and other various um, old school model 3D printed units. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these and what it consists of of getting it um, powered up and it's a 25 watt Bluetooth um, unit. Now I already set everything up as you can see these are my 3D printed parts I'm going to make one in red today. Um, so as you can see I have the speaker 25 watt woofer 8 ohms 15 watt tweeter 8 ohms a Bluetooth amplifier board 25 watts by 25 watts you're gonna need a, a glue stick a glue gun glue sticks um, some small clamps one large clamp you're gonna need of course wire which I already cut to size um, a battery source which I'll show you later how and where to get it um, this is the charger for it I have all the 3d printed parts on this side of the table which I will be ap uh, applying to this unit so first of all what is 3d printing 3D printing is something where you could um, design on a CAD program, 3D design program, which I use as a Libre. And then of course you need a 3D printer, which I have several of them. The noise you hear in the background right now is the 3D printers ongoing day and night, making these little units and other products that I, I make. Um, and you could actually make products to sell from these machines. You just have to have the knowledge of 3D designing. There's several um, design programs out there that are free, but are li li limitless to what you could do with them, and some that are not free. And I, of course, I have a expert edition of a Libre, which I've been using for almost seven years now, or longer. So first of all, these are the 3D printed parts. Um, now when you print 3D printed parts, um, you also have to remove the support material. Support material is the part that is added by the 3D printer slicer in order to achieve a groove on your uh, model. And the reason for that is because sometimes you need to set something in so you design it so that support material comes off and you can sit the object that you designed it for <clears throat> without any issues or problems so let's go ahead and remove the support material it should come off very easily depending on your slicer settings that's something you'll need to learn if you're going to get into 3D printing. Your slicer settings is the outcome of your 3D printed object and how well it's supposed to come out. Layers <clears throat> is a big plus. Temperature and material. Um, what is it you want to make your part or what kind of material first of all the material I used here is PLA so when you print out your parts sometimes you have some sharp edges which you have to remove so what I do is I use a file or a sand block and I file those sharp edges off
now you have no more sharp edges also on the other parts that make up the unit these are the sides of the Diablito top part of the Diablito bottom part of the Diablito always look for the shiny part that's the part that goes on the exterior the dull part is the part that sits on the pl platform of the printer um, you should be able to tell the difference shiny not shiny okay now what I do is I take the 25 watt speaker set it in the groove make sure it's sitting correctly I take the tweeter 15 watts set it in the groove make sure it fits correctly this is the amplifier board which I'm gonna add to this particular model so I already pre-cut all the wires so not to waste any time um, so I'm just gonna start setting them in place positive negative just be careful a lot of people like to use crimpers and um, plastic sleeves for the inserts uh, you could do either or I just like twisting it on and then I hot melt the glue stick on onto the ports this is for the tweeter the long ones are for the tweeter so to reach the amp due to the sitting position of the amp wires to the amplifier like so so check your polarity you got positive and negative this here is negative This one, <clears throat> this is negative. Go there. Always double check. positive okay so what I do with I set everything in place 
Make sure all the wires are the right length. Nothing's interfering. And then I <coughs> hot melt everything in place. Make sure you get the speaker all the way around so there's no sound coming, um, air coming back into the unit. Move the tweeter in place as well. Now you got your tweeters glued, now you glue the amp. Make sure the wires are where you need them to be. And then I go to the ins inside of the cone of the woofer. Put some glue at the four corners where the holes are at. Set it in place. I stay away from the corners for the reason um, and I put it at an angle because later on I have to drill a hole through here for the light indicator that goes in the front of the unit and my side panels go on here so make sure you're not too close to the corners depending on what you're building you might decide to build something bigger so you got plenty of room so you don't have to worry about that but the positioning of what the way I do um, things is because of the particular size of this box So what I do, I go ahead and I start gluing all the wires in place. Since it's a, this is plastic, it's a good insulator. You don't need to worry so much about it. I also glue these in place, the terminals. So they don't come out with the vibration of the unit, you never know. So I don't take chances. <clears throat> I also glue these down so they have less movement. Hold it in place for, for a few minutes. these down also hold it in place for a few seconds
okay so this is just the start of it coming together already So now it's time to glue the side parts together. And what I use, I use a uh, Loctite, very good glue. Loctite, super glue. Always make sure you have a stick in the gun ready. the glue mm -hmm. oh this one's giving me a problem ah, let's cut a little edge off for that Okay, this is giving me a problem. Uh, let me see. Get another one here. Got this one. There it goes. Make sure you put a decent amount. <coughs> this bad boy together. Clamp. Okay, make sure that's nice and even. Back together. Always use both as a bench. What I also do, I apply hot glue also to the inside. Try not to hit the corners because you're going to be uh, gluing the other side parts right next to it. Let that dry for a few minutes. Uh, while we're letting that dry, um, I'm going to just explain. This is the, uh, the power source. It's a 12 volt uh, VDC power pack from China. That's your uh, for your charging. This is for your power to the amp. What I did was the <clears throat> light indicator, which is going to get installed to the front of the unit. I spliced this back to expose the wire, so I could connect positive to give it feed to the light indicator. So when you turn it on, that's your light indicator. This is going to power up the whole entire unit. So let's take that off. All you need is a few minutes because the Loctite dries pretty quick. Take the other side part. Plenty of glue.
Okay. Let me show you good food over here. Wipe off any excess glue. Yeah. Also, the speakers covers have a uh, infill that needs to be support material that needs to be removed. That creates the cone or the woofer. As you can see. All the support materials gone. Also the small tweeter cover. Okay, I have to make sure that this is lining up correctly at the top. Mm -hmm. Then I take a bigger clamp, squeeze the sides in place. Just like that. Turn it around. around flip it over sometimes the clamps want to act up put some hot glue on the top also dry for a few seconds make sure the three printed parts are nice and smooth nothing interfering
Okay. Remove the side. The reason why I take it apart quick is because the Loctite dri dries pretty fast. Let's do the bottom. Make sure sun shiny side up. All these pieces fit perfect. So you should I, I don't have an issue putting it together. Big clamp again. Don't be cheap with the glue. Make sure it's in there real good. Let that dry for a little bit. Now is the time to look everything over, make sure everything's okay. So far, it's starting to look like a little boom box. Now let's put all the pieces together. <clears throat> There's some support material in here that I haven't moved, that I have to remove. There it goes. This is for the little bar handles that go in there. This is this, these are all 3D printed parts. Everything. It's all 3D printed. So let's bring all the pieces in place. Okay. One more piece missing. Here we go.
make another one. got the little red lights let's put the speaker cones in not want to get this glue on the speaker itself so I apply it only on the rim because it's going to sit on the rim of the speaker so far so good like to make sure the parts fit right So all 3D printed parts, everything printed individually. I could apply all these parts to any different color Diablito I want to. That's why they, I separated everything. 
when I designed it. Now I'm going to drill a hole for the light indicator. That's why I put the board in an angle so I don't hit it with the, with the drill bit. That's going to be your fifth light. Diablo has five little light indicators. That's why I'm using one for um, so I apply some glue to the light indicator. Stick it in place. Hold it there for a few seconds. Make sure it don't stick out too much. Waiting for this to dry a little bit. Okay. Now, put a little bit more glue in there. Now this is going to go here where the switch is going to be at. So so I just tap some glue here. Put a little bit of this glue also. Make sure the switch is correct. Not too much pressure on the battery. Let that dry a little bit. This is the plug that's going to go on the back over here. That's going to go in there. And let that dry for a few minutes. This is where I splice the wire. For the light indicator, as you can see, the light works. Now 
Now make sure you plug plug the battery to the amp. I always glue that down also. Glue it down also. Don't forget to hot glue the wires you spliced to the battery for the light indicator. Wait a few minutes. That's done. Let's glue all the other parts together. Little microphone. Oops, get another one. I'll find that one later. Get all the parts over here now. Include a little microphone. That's the little mic that sits on the radio. Sometimes you got these little fuzzy hairs left over from over extrusion, just remove them easily. Buttons. This little unit's down to the detail.
Let's set buttons. Gotta remove the support materials in here also for the handles. Give this a little sanding to knock, knock off the rough edges. Time to glue the little bars. I like to give this a little tightening over here also. little sleeves, give it the final touch. Turn these around, that way the glue adheres to it good.
that dry for a few minutes. Then we're gonna power around this baby. See what it sounds like. And then next and last goes the back top handle, which will go up here. That'll be the next step. This unit is complete. So let's power on this baby and see how it works. Bluetooth. Headset found it. Howard, let's get some music. The back is not on it yet, so it's not enclosed, but I'll show you the difference. I'm going to lay it down, and you're going to show the difference. It's going to show you how it sounds once the back is on there. D printed Diablito.